My name's Hugh McDowell, I'm the Australia Forecast Manager, and today we're going to talk about wave energy. Wave energy can give you both a guide to how waves will feel at your spot and also an aid to understanding how swell height and period can contribute to creating surf at your local beach. This metric will help you fine tune your surfing decisions by giving you more information on the swells you're checking out and how the waves will feel at your spot. So why is wave energy helpful? It helps you see how swell size, period and direction come together to know how the surf will feel and therefore which board to take or what to be mentally prepared for. Energy isn't the only factor that impacts how powerful the surf feels though. The depth of the water, the tide and the sandbars or reef also play a part. So we should think of it like the volume calculation for a surfboard. It doesn't tell you everything you need to know, but it can be really helpful as a comparison tool. To find wave energy, make sure you're in graph view and scroll down below the tides graph on any forecast spot. So how do we use it and why is it important to us? Well, we can look at the wave energy on multiple different days with the same surf height and we can see that different swells have different underlying effects. Three to four foot on one day might feel very different to three to four foot on another day, depending on how much energy is contained in that swell. This metric will help you fine tune your surfing decisions by giving you more information on the swells you're checking out and how the waves will feel at your spot. So I'd suggest you check out the forecast and get in the water. The best way to learn how to use this data is by experiencing it yourself.